when you step into the feeling tone that you are a gift from God, here to radiate and shine the luminosity, you're coming to an awareness that you have and that you are something to give. So the sense of lack begins to be disintegrated from your awareness because you are arriving to shine. You're arriving to glow. You're arriving to radiate. You're arriving to give. You're not arriving on the planet to get anything but to shine your light. So the moment there is 50.1% of your subjective tendency feeling into that you already have and that you are here to give then there is momentum that takes place spiritually and 50.1 becomes 50.2 becomes 51% becomes 55% 60-70% until most of you on a subjective level is here to shine and to give rather than to get operating from which is operating from a sense of lack and limitation so then you begin to understand that when there are two or more gathered the name and in the nature of the Christ, there I am, says this presence. When the conscious mind and the subconscious mind become one, two or more. When the subconscious and the subconscious unite, the superconscious takes over. And you live from a whole nother dynamic, a whole nother awareness. So thus, when you hear, don't be shy, let your light shine. You're coming under the authority of being and having and sharing. And you're beginning, when, you talk, when we talk about don't being shy this month, we're reminding ourselves that we are here to normalize the sense of joy, normalize the sense of peace, a sense of well-being, even in the midst of darkness, even in the midst of the world of phenomena swirling, even in the midst of the vicissitudes of the human experience. You are here to normalize the joy, normalize the peace. Don't be shy because at this particular time, the normalization of fear, doubt, and worry is at an all-time high. And so you want to stick out as one who knows God, who knows the presence, not as a belief system, not as a memorization of scriptures. Not as a philosophy, which are all good, are all stepping stones to realization, but through intense and deep and, and profound spiritual practice, you come to know the presence of God within you, and then there becomes a normalization of a sense of joy that has nothing to do with circumstances. And though you may not fit in to the prevailing frequency of the world, you did not come to the planet to fit in. You did not come to the planet to live in the prevailing paradigm, the status quo. You've come to shatter the status quo and to allow the light to so shine before individuals on this planet that they do see and feel and sense and feel the fire of the Holy Spirit within you, anchoring the realm of ever-expanding good on earth as it is in the heart-mind of the infinite.